So Rich Gott wrote a book called Time Travel in Einstein's Universe. Right. And there turns out there are solutions if you take a certain path around a black hole or a pair of black holes and then come back, you can come back before you left. Oh. There, there's, a, there's a solution that I don't know how to calculate. Okay. But people who are fluent in this do. But we don't have to worry about the details of that. What we care about is the idea of it. Right. All right. Is the universe going to get angry if you manage to go back in time? Mm -hmm. Then tell yourself to not go back in time. Right. How do you, how, how you square that? That would be the most awesome thing. I could see why the universe could get mad at that. Right, right. So does the universe split? I mean, that's kind of what he's hinting Yeah, that's here. what he's saying. Because at that point, what you have done, because you're already... Because you, you just can't let that went. go. You already went. Right. So when you come back and don't go again, what happened to the wind? <laughs> See? Because you already went. That's right. how you got back. Right. But in the movies, what happens is you always end up doing something else that puts you right back where, where you got to go. Or you disappear from the photo. <laughs> <laughs> right.